when you talk about different types of intelligences, it doesn't mean that if you fall under that category, then you possess the intelligence. You have to be stand out. And so we have people who are public speakers, but you can't categorize them as having or possessing linguistic intelligence. It's just that they speak. Or you have writers and poets and journalists, uh, guys who just are journalists because they went to journalism school or is it mass communication. So you can't necessarily say that they possess linguistic intelligence. They are guys who write. But if you were to measure them against incredible writers or what it means to be an incredible writer, just the use of language or the use of words, you find them to be lacking and wanting. So just because you fall under category of your, your profession or a profession, something falls under category doesn't necessarily mean that you possess it. So language, all of us use language in one way or the other, but it doesn't mean that you have mastered language enough to consider ourselves as possessing linguistic intelligence. You really have to be careful about that. Now let's go to artistic kind of intelligence and arts, arts, artists fall under different kinds of intelligences. Now let's talk about comedians. Comedians usually fall under the social, interpersonal kind of intelligence. People who are able to be the life of the party, they come into a situation, they make it lively, they make it bubbly, they have got the social skills. And the new kid on the block obviously is them on Facebook. And I'm going to put her in this category and, 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 and boldly make the claim that she's intelligent because the moment you listen to that girl speak you can tell that her comedy is not rehearsed it's like it's always raw every time she churns out stuff every time whenever she speaks you're like wow where did that even come from how did she think about that so fast and real quick because i'm i'm thinking she might sit somewhere and people or people might sit somewhere and say yeah she wasn't really good in classwork this is me just making assumptions that she wasn't good when it came to classwork she didn't play any sport but she's equally intelligent every time that girl speaks you can tell that she's really smart she's brilliant now, I'm really glad to see that she's under someone who's willing to show her the ropes, take her up, take her under his wings and polish her up, make her proper for corporate and the rest of it. But if she puts in the work, because I want to dare compare her to Cat Williams, and I know it's a long shot, like, Cat Williams, how dare you know? I'm just talking in the sense that if she puts in a lot of work, years and time, a lot of work and time, years from today, people are going to look at her and she's going to go into situations and people will be like, oh my goodness, this girl is going to... She's going to cut you to pieces, and especially, you know, when you want to do a roast, because, of course, Cat Williams is also good at doing roastings, or roastings. But when you listen to him at his age, clearly he's put in the time and the effort. He's so good and he's brilliant. So I don't want to compare Cat Williams at 50 with them on Facebook, who is in her 20s. So please don't try and say, oh, how dare you? I'm just saying that if she puts in the time and the, and the hard yards, and in terms of the years, she's going to be equally as good. And with the polishing that is going to happen. Now, I know it's a long shot. So don't say, ah, yeah, she's Kenyan. And of course, you know, we have a way of looking down upon ourselves and our own. We don't think that we are, we are able and capable of producing people who are just as good as the guys who are on an international stage and on the platform. But I dare say that Demo Facebook is one of those people. Because, of course, she's the new kid on the block, obviously. She's on our lips every other time. But she is a really smart comedian. She's not rehearsed. Her comedy is not like it has to be a skit. Like every time she speaks, she's really brilliant. She's intelligent. And I hope she knows this. So when it comes to social interpersonal skills, if you're looking for someone who's a comedian and you can look at them and say, now that's not just talent. That is also someone who's incredibly smart. Her ability to think on her feet and come up with this incredible things. You just listen, you're like, wow, uh, wow. And she, she has an opportunity. But they... Um, if she goes that direction, she's also going to be really good at trusting people, of course, using the comedic uh, abilities and in, in, in a comedic way. She's one of those people I've seen who can do an incredible roasting and from a really comedic perspective. Very few people can, can do that and sustain it for like minutes and even sometimes close on to an hour. She's the one who can do that really well. So, of course, this is me giving her her flowers. But yes, she falls under that category. So, demo Facebook, you're really smart, you're really intelligent. I'm rooting for you. I, I am a small time content creator. I don't know someone say, yeah, you're looking for clout. Okay, why am I even uh, making things in my head where people have not even said, you know, now this is the problem of you're always thinking that people are going to come attack you and say, okay, you're looking for clout. No, I'm not looking for clout. I'm just using her as an opportunity to buttress. And then again, my mind is telling me, Nangami, why you're explaining. So this is my cue for me to leave. But yeah, demo Facebook, social interpersonal intelligence, perfect example for it. Cheers.